Hey guys, Wild Willie here. Um, we're going to talk about uh, home security a little bit more. One of the biggest questions I get is about securing doors. We've already done a video on securing uh, in inward swinging doors. Those are the doors that, like your front door, they swing into your home. Just to touch base really quick on that, guys. Nothing beats a good lock. Lock is number one. Um, two locks, three locks, whatever, you know. But you can buy stuff like this. I just set this up real quickly. Door jams. There's a million different styles of door jams to get. This one here, a $20 one, um, works great. Not so much on the carpet, but great to securing doors. If you, in an emergency, a shift situation, if you didn't have something like this and you didn't feel that your locks on your on your door were adequate enough, grab one of your interior doors. Grab a hollow core door. Grab one like like this. Th these most homes have hollow core doors in the inside on their closets and in their bathrooms. You can't put locks on them. They don't do anything like anything serious. Like they won't keep anyone out if they really want to get in. Um, but you could take this door right off its hinges, right off. And instead of using this pole, you could use this door, wedge the door, take it off its hinges and wedge the door underneath the door handle. And do that to your front door. Do that to your uh, any inward facing doors where someone might be coming from the outside trying to get in. There's so many options to protect these doors to prevent someone from walking in. But that's not really what I want to talk about. Today I want to talk about how to protect, or how to secure rather, outward swing doors. Those are the doors that, like the bathroom door here, that open to get into the room. Or if you're in the basement with your family, I'm going to show you a quick way you can secure those doors and give you precious seconds, if not minutes, to protect yourself and it might mean the difference between life and death for your family. So hold on. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. Very simple setup on an outward swinging door. I don't want anyone to come into my basement. I'm down here with my family. This is a hollow core door, and eventually someone's going to smash through that, whether they shoot their way through it, whether they hack their way through with an axe, whatever. But with this quick setup, just with a, just with a piece of wood and some paracord tied up like this, it's going to give me a couple minutes. They're either going to have to smash the door, rip the door knob off. But those one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, whatever it's going to take someone to get through this door, that's a, that can mean the difference between life and death. That could be, okay, do I get my family out another window? Do I secure my family? Do I get ready to set up a counterattack? Do I have to go load the gun, get them out of the safe and whatever? You know what I mean? It gives you a few precious minutes if the very least seconds. And this doesn't have to be, guys, this doesn't have to be a piece of wood. These can be makeshift up so quick, you can use a table off a, a leg, off a table. You can use part of a bed frame. Um, use part of your vacuum cleaner, the steel pole or the hard plastic pole that, you know, on the on the telescopic part. This doesn't have to be paracord, a phone cord, a wire off a lamp, a copper wire, thin wire is really good to use a wire to get this tighter. This should be up a little bit higher, parallel with this door. I just did it have it lower to show you. Um, this frame, guys, this will hold someone, this will keep someone at bay for a few minutes. And we've, like I said, we just talked about uh, the inward facing doors, slide, uh, swinging doors. This is an outward side door. I don't want anyone to open this door and come on down. Stuff like this can make the difference between life and death. Anyways, guys, I'm Wild Willie and I gotta get trucking. Remember, it's not a question if this shit, it's a fan, it's a question of when. So always be prepared.